Hello class, um, Mr. Glow here. I'll do some geometry with you guys today. So this is an assignment in our geometry class. It was uh, posted this morning by Ms. Ayub. Um, if you notice here, it is due by Friday. So it is about the area and circumference uh, formulas, classwork and homework number one. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to look at these first three files. These first three files are notes, um, as Ms. Ayub explains over the top here. So these are notes. If you take a look, we'll come back to this in a second. And if you take a look at those, you'll figure out how to do some of these problems. But, it, but if that's not going to work for you, um, here we go. I'm going to walk you through some of these problems. Okay. So from the first notes, we see that we have an area formula for the area of a circle, right? And the circumference of a circle, okay? So I'm gonna actually go over here and I have this saved as an image in this app that I can draw on. So I'm gonna do that. So the area of the area formula of um, the circle is area is pi times r, oh, I don't like that one, squared, okay? And highlight clicks, I don't know what that means, focus mouse, nah, I don't like that either. Okay, so instead of doing that, here we go, I just fixed my cursor. Okay, because I didn't like it. So here we go. Now we're going to do circumference equals um, the, the equation that's up there. Okay, the formula that's up there is 2 times pi times r. Okay. Now you could also write the circumference of a circle as pi times, oh, I can't move. I can't go over there. Let me erase that then. Okay, there we go. You could also write this as, and I'll write it up here, pi times d, okay? To explain this a little bit, in these equations, this is area, a, equals pi, so that's a number, 3.1415, blah, blah, blah. r is radius. The radius of your circle is halfway, from the center of your circle right here to the edge of your circle, okay? So right from the center to the edge, that is your radius. A diameter, okay, the diameter of a circle, which is the D in the circumference equation or formula, is the diameter, okay? So if you have a circle and it gives you the diameter Okay, that's this whole line. It's a line from edge to edge, edge to edge, going through the center of the circle. Okay, that is what a diameter of a circle is. It is a line from each edge of the circle to through the middle or through the center of the circle. Okay, so that's a D, right? So radius R is halfway and diameter D is all the way through, okay? And we will continue. So here we go, let's try some problems. Let's try some of these problems. What we have to do is it says find the area for circles. Uh, oh, it says find the area for circles one through four and circumference for circles five through eight. Okay, um, so we're gonna do number one, we're just going to do area, all right? So let's do area of this is area equals pi, okay, times r, r, r here is 12, okay, 12 squared, okay, so that's just going to be, we know what 12 times 12 is, if you don't, you can pull up the calculator, calculator um, on Google, right, in your web browser if you want to, so we have 12, times 12 equals 144, or 12 squared, this is the same thing, okay? So 
now we have pi times 144. Okay, that's going to be our, that's going to be our, I'm just doing the work out here, 12 times 12 is 144. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply pi times 144. So here we go. So we have 144 still on our calculator times pi. Okay, we're going to get 452.38, or and I'm going to round that to 452.39, I guess. Okay, what is it again? 452.39. Okay, 452. So this is A, which is area equals 452.39, okay? All right, so Ms. Ayub only wants you guys to do the odds, but I'm going to actually do, no, you know, I'll keep going. All right, so it says find the areas for one through four, circumference for circles five through eight. So here we go, I'm gonna do, for number three, I'm going to do the um, area for this circle as well, okay? So now we have A, equals pi times 2.8 squared. And so that's going to equal pi times whatever 2.8 squared is. So what is 2.8 2.8 um, times 2.8? That is 7.84. So pi times 7.84, okay? What's pi times pi? Times pi equals 24.63, okay? So the area for number three is 24, we'll get it again, I can't remember, 0.63, 0.63. Now, number five, according to the directions, it says circumference for circles five through eight. So I'm actually going to find the circumference now. So remember, our circumference formula is up here. Okay. Um, so I'm going to do, and they give us the radius again. Okay. They only give us halfway through the circle for number five. If you notice, they give us seven millimeters halfway through the circle uh, from the center of the circle to the outer edge. So we have the radius, which is good. So we're going to use this formula. Um, uh, C equals 2 times pi times r. Our r is 7. Okay. So we have that equals 2 times pi times r. So 2 times pi times 7. So 2 times pi times 7 equals 43.98, okay, 43.98, okay, so there are the, um, there are the answers basically for 1, 2, 1, 3, and 5, okay, so we did Four third, four, fifth, and we could check in with the missile use. Hey, buddy. It's okay. I'm just doing a doing a video. What's up, man? No, by myself. So we're gonna be. You guys are gonna be recorded. It's fine. So four fifty two point three nine. That's what we get. I think for the first one. Yes, that's what we got. Let's check them again, and then twenty four point six three. That's what we got for that one. And number five, we have forty three point nine eight. Okay, let's check. Uh, oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Let's see if it's here. Oh, those are just those. Oh, I see. We did. We broke them up. Hang on. Hang on. Where's five and six? I don't see number five and six. One through four. Nine and ten. I don't see where five and six is. Anyway, I don't know where five or six is, but I'm pretty sure we got it correct. That's fine. Um, okay. 
So that's that one. Let's do um, another one here. Let's do another one. So we're going to do new from image. And I'm going to do, hopefully, as it comes up. Five and six. Oh boy. I don't know, seven. There we go. I can't really see this. Anyway, um, so for number seven, we have to find the circumference as well. Remember, our, our equation for circumference is C equals pi times, oh, we have uh, pi times d, because now, look, if you pay attention for this one, we have the diameter here, okay? We have the diameter. Um, we have the diameter of the circle here, okay? So we're just going to do pi times d. So the circumference of this one is going to equal pi times d. Okay. Pi times d, which is uh, pi times 58. All clear. Times 58 equals 182.21. Okay. So the circumference of this is going to be 182.21. Okay. Yes, 182.21. There you go. Okay. Now for number nine, I think where did seven and eight go? Just didn't do seven and eight. I don't know. I don't know where seven and eight is. Um, one through four, nine and ten, fifteen, sixteen. I don't know. Okay, that's fine. I'm um, not going to do eight because we're just doing the odds. Okay, he says for this one, okay, we have find the diameter of a circle with a circumference of uh, 65.97. So now we need to find, we don't know D, so we're going to put D is question mark. Okay, so we have the circumference is equal to oh. now we can minimize this nope. uh, boom. anyway circumference is so they tell us 65.97 okay um we also know the equation for the circumference is pi times t so let's do this. We're gonna put in. We're gonna we're gonna put in sixty five point nine seven as our circumference. We're gonna get it away from there. Um, sixty five point nine seven equals pi times d. Okay. So we're just gonna divide by pi, right? So we have pi times d. So we're gonna divide by pi to get it over here. All right, let me do our river thing. Now these cancel out, and we have D over here. Okay, this D will come down, but let's for the sake put it just put it over here. D equals sixty five point nine seven divided by pi. So sixty five point nine seven divided by pi. And that's going to equal 20. We're going to round this up to 21. Okay. So D equals 21. And that's our answer for number nine. All right. Let's see if I can get. So we did. Um, here we go. We did one, three, five, seven, nine. Now we're going to do. 11-ish. Boom. Click on open. Okay. 
find the radius of a circle with a circumference of 35 pi yards. Okay. So we have the circumference of a circle equals 35 pi. Okay. We also know from, because we're talking this time about, um, about radius, okay, we're talking about radius in this equation. I'm going to use the equation that is 2 pi r, okay? So, <clears throat> so find the radius of a circle, and they give us, they give us that. So I'm going to put in 35 pi equals 2 times pi times r, okay? Now, we have a lot of numbers here. It doesn't look like it, but we have a lot of numbers here, okay? So we're just going to, in my opinion, we're just going to do this. We're just going to divide, okay? We have 2 pi over here. We're going to divide that number because this is a number 35 times pi is a number. Uh, this is a number. Okay, 2 times pi is a number. So we're going to divide both sides by 2 pi. So divided by <laughs> 2 pi divided by 2 pi, right? And obviously the pi's cancel out pi's cancel out. 35 divided by 2 is going to equal our r, okay? So our r is going to equal 35 divided by 2. So what's 35 divided by 2? We get 17.5, okay? 17.5. All right. Here we go. So that's number 11. I think, I'm not sure, did she post the answers to number 11? Let's do, that's 1 through 4, 9, and 10. What did we get for number 9? And yeah, we got 21, right? Uh, for number 9, let's see, where's 9? Oh, yeah, we got 21 for 9. Um, go home again. So, it's 9 and 10. 1 through 4, 1, 4, 9, 10, 15, 16. Okay. Um, let's continue. Let's continue with these. Okay. So number 13, find the diameter of a circle with an area of 615.75 square centimeters. Okay. So let's do area. Area. Area equals 615.75. Area equation, once again, is area equals pi times r squared. Okay. Um, we're just going to substitute in the a's. So 615, 615 now, 0.75 is going to equal pi r squared. We have to divide by pi. Divide by pi. Okay, pi's cancel out. 615 divided by 6, 615.75, 615 615.75 divided by pi equals 196. I'm going to round that up, 196. Okay. So, 196 is going to equal r squared. Now, remember, we still have, well, we still have this r squared. So, now we have to take the square root. What's the square root of 196 to get our r? Okay, r equals... Uh, clear, I'm just going to do 196 square root. Oop, no, that's not how you do that. Let's do the square root. 
Okay. Uh, square root of 196 equals 14. Comes out nice. Okay. Square root of 196 is 14. So there we go. There's number 13. Okay. Find the area of a circle, number 15, let's do it. Find the area of a circle with a circumference of 26 pi feet. So we want to know, okay, we have the area of the circle is 26 pi, okay? And our area um, formula is, once again, Oh no, we need circumference now. Let's pay attention to this. I almost made a mistake. Here we go. Uh, hold on, let's put that back there. So it says find the area of a circle with a circumference of 26, point, 26 times pi. So let's get rid of that because this is not correct. Okay, oh, it's our previous one. So our circumference here is 26. Pi. Okay. Wants us to find the area of a circle with a circumference of 26 pi feet. Okay. So how are area and circumference joined? So we know that the air. So we know that the. Hmm, this might take me a little bit to uh, write out here. You know, the circumference of a circle is, right, 2 times pi times r. We know that the area of a circle, actually, you know what? Let me do this in a different color. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Let's do this in a different color. Let's do dark red. That sounds great. Okay. So we know that the circumference, Conference of a circle is 2 times pi times r, and the area is pi r squared. So let's see here. What can we do? If the circumference equals that, oh, so what do I need to find? I need to find my r. That's what I need to find. So I'm going to sub these two in here, okay? So we have to find r, the radius, and then we have to put it into the area formula. Okay, so we got to, this is a couple different steps here. Okay. Um, okay. So here we go. So let's solve this. We're gonna we we know that they give us that the um, circumference is twenty six pi feet. So 26 pi equals 2 pi r. Okay. So now we're going to, we're going to find, I'd like to make my river there. Everybody likes to do that, but I like to do it. So I'm going to divide by 2 pi here. Divide by 2 pi, because remember guys, pi is just a number. I've said it like 20 times in this video. Um, Divide by 2 pi, that cancels out there. Whatever I do on this side of the river, I have to do on this side of the river. So I'm going to divide by 2 pi here. Okay. And if the pi's cancel out, what's 26 divided by 2? I know the answer already is just going to be 13. So my radius is 13. Now I'm going to take my radius. Okay. Now let's do another, let's do another color here. Uh, let's do purple. Okay. So my radius now of 13, I'm going to take and I'm going to put in the area formula, okay? That's my area formula right here. Once again, let's draw like a little thing around there. Okay, very precise there. Okay, so the area of this one is going to be, so A is going to equal um, pi times my r squared, 
what's 13 squared? 13 squared, I know off the top of my head, is 169, but if you want me to do it out, I'll hit all clear. 13, okay, times 13 um, equals 169, like I said. Okay, so A, so area equals pi times 169, okay? Now we're going to do that on uh, with the calculator. Area equals pi times 169. So we're just going to do times pi equals 530.93. 530.93. Oh, wow. And I even kept it mostly in this box. I think Ms. Ayub posted the answers for 15 and 16. Let's see if I got it right. Um, where's 15 and 16? Here it is. Yes, here it is. Okay. 530.93 feet squared. Okay. I see what Ms. Ayub did. She posted some of the answers, but not all of them, because I think she wants you to do, and she wants you to do them out. All right, cool. So I did 11, 13, 15 now. I already did uh, one, three, five, seven, nine, and now I'm going to do uh, the last few problems, 17 and 19. Okay, so move from image. Let's see if I can do this. Boom. Click on open. Okay, so here's 17 and 19. Okay, so. Number 17 says, find the circumference of a circle with an area of 201.0 square inches. So now they give us the area and they want us to find the circumference. All right, cool. Um, I think I'm going to stick with, I'll stick with purple for now. Okay. So find the circumference. So we need to, we need to know, ah. Need to know the circumference. We don't know what a circumference is, but the area of this is 201.06. Okay. Remember our area formula. Um, here, I'll switch now. Uh, let's do this. This is green. This is a good green. Remember our area formula is pi r squared. Ah, and well, let me just click one of these. Ah, pi r squared, there we go. And our circumference formula is two times pi times r, okay? So find the circumference of an area, with, of a circle with an area of 201.06 square inches. All right, here we go. So we give the, they give us the area. We're probably going to have to find the radius again, right? And then put it back, put the radius into the circumference formula. So let's, let me switch this again. Um, is this a good orange or not? I don't know. Let's see. Okay. So our area is 201.06. We're going to put that into our area form. I mean, yeah, our area formula, which is pi R squared, okay. We're gonna divide here, let's do it, let's do it right. Okay, I um, probably didn't need to make it that big. There we go, let's just make it down to here, here we go. So we're gonna divide by pi to get that to cancel out. Divide by pi, okay. And now we have R squared. Oh, fell. R squared equals whatever 201.06 divided by pi is. What's 201 point? What is it? 201.06. 0, 0, 06 divided by pi. What is it? All right, so we're going to round that to 64, 63.999. 3, 8. 
Let's just do 64. Okay, so r squared in this equation equals 64. All right, let's make our line. We're going to take the square root, square root, square root of um, <clears throat> 64. So r is going to equal, the square root of 64 is 8. I'm just going to say it. Okay, if you don't believe me, let's hit all clear here. Okay, um, square root of 64 equals 8. Okay, so our r is 8. Now we need to take that and put that back into our circumference formula. The green one at the top there, two, 2 times pi times r. So let's do it. Let's change my color again. Oh, let's do a cool blue. Like it. All right. So c equals 2 times pi times our r, which is 8. Okay, so c equals, what's 2 times pi times 8? All clear. 2 times pi times 8 equals 50.27. I'm going to round that up to 50.27. 50.27. All right, there it is, number 17. There it is. Okay. Um, find the area of a circle with a circumference of 18.84 yards. All right, so let's do it. Area, we don't know. Area is our question mark. Okay, area circle with a circumference of 18. Okay, circumference in this problem equals 18.84, okay? Once again, you can see our, our area formulas up at the top, area equals pi r squared, and circumference equals two times pi times r. So here we go. Let's um, put it into the circumference formula first because we're gonna have to find the r, okay? So we're going to, once again, Put it into that 2 times pi times r. So 18.84 equals 2 pi r. Okay? I'm trying to find r. Let's divide here. Now let's pick another color. Um, let's go back to purple. Purple. Purple it is. Okay? We're going to divide here by 2 pi, divide by 2, oh, oh, 2 pi, okay, that cancels out, um, I don't know what that is, but this r comes down here, r equals, what's 18.84, I feel like I know this, 18.84. Divided by, I'm going to put in parentheses, 2 pi. 2.998. So I'm going to round that up to 3. Okay. So R equals 3. Now we're going to take it, we're going to put it into the area formula because that's what we're that's what we're trying to find out here, right? Remember our area formula is area equals pi r squared, okay? So area, and now we, we figured out r. So we're gonna do area equals pi times, what's r squared? Three times three is just nine. I'm just gonna do it out because we don't need to waste, waste that step, it's easy. Three, time, uh, 3 times 3, remember 3 times 3 is our radius, so 3 times 3 is 9, so 9 times pi is going to be our answer, all clear, 9 times, nope, what did I say? Yeah, 9 times pi, 9 times pi equals 28.27, 28.27. Okay, so that is what we had to do. I think that's all of them now. Okay. Um, let's check real quick. I'll go home. Okay. 
Once again, these are one, that's one, three, five. Okay. So that's one, three, five. This is seven, nine. All right. This is 11, 13, and 15. Look, I started using color on 15. <laughs> and then I did 17 and 19. Okay. So there we go. Thank you very much. If you have anything, if you have any questions, uh, yeah, I know I'm being recorded. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to Mr. Glode. You can email me, uh, jglode at stanfordct.gov or jglode at stanfordpublicschools.org. All right. Thank you.